conditions have turned rather wintry. Looking forward to a time when I don't have snot permanently dripping from my nose. Everything is just squelchy, slippery, slidey, muddy, sloppy, miserable. Wow, if that's not good for the soul, I don't know what is. That's all you need. If we had more mornings like this, then I'd be high as a kite permanently. <clears throat> it's just good, good farming weather. So it's the 1st of March today, quite an exciting month to begin, I think. And the sun's just rising. It's beautiful sunrise. The cows look really to be enjoying their new field. I've just weighed out the first feed for the ewes, March the 1st, and it is snowing. I think the sheep have just disappeared off of the hill in the time that it's taken me to do it as well, which is not helpful. Weather seems appropriate for the first day of spring if you class March the 1st as the start of spring. My dad used to always like to discuss the saying March in like a lion out like a lamb. It's come in, I guess, like this would be fierce. So let's hope it's a good end to the month. So we've gone back to soggy and wet again. So the day is finishing quite a lot nicer this afternoon than it, than it was a few hours ago, so that's a positive. Because we split the ewes up into different groups, uh, we've had to move some of our hay crashes around uh, so that we can put hay out for them. <laughs> so, so whilst we were pushing the hay feed, uh, feeder things, um, we, we got absolutely drenched. So the weather is truly awful. It's not doing us any favours whatsoever. Um, I was just saying to Nick that we just need some dry, nice days so we can get done the things that we need to do. And at the moment, it's like even driving on the field feels like a bad idea. So spring still feels like it's, it's a long way off. I don't need to shut that gate. Or do I? Good morning. So it's Sunday morning, about eight o'clock now, I think. I've just fed the twins and the triplets and checked that they're all okay. As you can see, it's very foggy. We can hardly see anything. Um, so I'm doing the rounds. Yesterday was awful. So Friday, um, sleet and rain, and yesterday pelting it down with rain and dark. Um, <clears throat> So uh, as ever, we're optimistic that things are going to get slightly better now. Maybe a drier week. Um, certainly ready for it. Uh, so yeah, not much to report other than just the fog, the gloom. Definitely still not really feeling the March energy yet. Oh. 
Oh, it's 6.39, shaping up to be a good sunrise if I climb up the hill high enough, so I'm on my way up. We've got the fog, the Highland cows, and sheep. Wonderful half moon. There is the sunrise. And the farm is down in the mist. Looks nice. Wow. If that's not good for the soul, I don't know what is. That's all you need. I don't know if you can see that all the ground is all frosted heavily. It's all glittering and beautiful. And there is no wind and there's no one around. I can hear the skylarks. It's just fantastic. And here we are well above the clouds. Looks beautiful. Here we come. Let's get breakfast. If we had more mornings like this, then I'd be high as a kite permanently. <clears throat> it's just good, good farming weather. The mist is all burning off and it looks it looks incredible. Soon we will be out of the mist down here. This morning we are milder, damper, still misty. It's feeding time. Yesterday was a really um, nice day, a uh, beautiful day. Today, it looks like we've got, we've got the mist, but we're not going to have the sunshine, I don't think, at least. Not at the moment. It's kind of damp underfoot. It was raining. It was raining last night. So, obviously, being a farmer, I have a keen interest in the weather, uh, the, the records and all that kind of thing. Um, how can you not? Um, and our sort of local website that I use is one called Buxton Weather. And uh, they sort of reported that uh, the month of February 2024, we had... 25 hours of sunshine in the month, so half of what is considered average for what we'd have in February. Half the amount of sun, twice the amount of rain. So February was a gloomy, wet month. Um, so let's hope March and April and May and onwards book the trend of less sun and more rain and we, we you know, get something a bit more... It's going to put a bit more fire in our bellies and get us feeling good because the sun just makes you feel good, I think.
it's Friday morning, about seven o'clock, ten past seven now, and just fed the twins. And last night I went to, yesterday afternoon I went to collect these buckets. Um, I've used them the last couple of years and I've been happy with how they've gone down. Um, so hopefully they'll do a good job for us again this year. There's a bucket in there somewhere, isn't there, Nibbles? Today we're on the 8th of March and I'm crouched behind the wall because it's cold and windy. It's really cold. My face is hurting. Um, so a very cool wind and no sun for the last couple of days. So it's feeling bitter. So it's a much nicer afternoon than the cold, gloomy morning. We are ready to feed the cattle. So they're all waiting this the double drop Saturday the 9th of March today, good morning, um, and I'm just feeding, it's just after 7 and the rain has started. Runny nose, cold, windy, cold hands. Looking forward to a time when I don't have snot permanently dripping from my nose. So apart from Monday night, and a bit of drizzle here and there. It's been a mostly dry week. So we've had a good run. I'm going to finish the video here. Um, so it's been a better week uh, the, since the start of March. We've had some snow, some beautiful sunshine, uh, some very cold wind, um, but, but drier and better. So it's definitely been a more positive week. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.